in this understanding Git and GitHub. We have looked at Git and the GitHub uh, as being completely different, although they have something in common, and the binding, the binding relationship between them is the Git. Git binds Git and GitHub. But their difference is that uh, Git is a program that creates repository locally in your machines but github is a web server that hosts git repositories remotely over the internet for sharing or collaboration with others so if you want to get github you can go to github website open your github account and then create a github repository there so the difference between the two, Git is a program to create repositories. GitHub is a web host to host repositories, Git repositories. So that's the difference between the two. Uh, Git and GitHub repositories are needed for version control. Remember, Git repository is created locally on your machine. GitHub repository is created from the website of GitHub. GitHub is a storage for hosting Git repository. Just not that clearly. So to create GitHub repository, you have to create it from the website of GitHub. Use GitHub, create it, and then you start using it. Whereas Git repository is created locally on our machine. They are all needed for version control. So this is the architecture that I came up with to create a mental image, a mental picture of understanding Git and GitHub. As you can see, I came up with this analogy that we have our computer sitting in our home and it contains our files, our folders, millions of files and folders without Git. So if you need Git, you can go to the Git website and download Git program on your local machine. Windows doesn't come with a Git program by default, so you need to install it. So once you have Git running on, the Git program will be sitting there without having any impact on any of the folders at that point my friend there's nothing much you can do with git and i have demonstrated this in the previous video so if you want to do anything with git you must create a git repository by opening one of the folders you know using git init command to initialize git on that specific folder to make it a git repository now once you have git repository you can now do anything with git when you go back to the internet to the github you need also to create a github account so having github account as well does not guarantee that you have a github repository you must therefore create a GitHub repository from the GitHub website. Remember, GitHub is a storage, uh, is a server on the internet used for creating GitHub repository. My friend, once you have created the GitHub repository, that will be a remote repository from your local machine. So you can now push what you have on your local machine to the github so you can link to the github via um, some kind of link to your github repository or if you have already created repository locally you can push that to your github account and my friend once you have pushed it you will have everything inside the github repository 
where people will now share you can share it with others or you can get other people's code as well from the github there's one thing which is also common between github and git repository from the local machine local machine is a private uh, place where you can control your git repository control your version by using git repository locally you can only share what you're doing uh, with others via github whereas when you have an account with the github as well and after creating a github repository my friend you can also decide whether you want to make that github repository private or public so if you make it public that means you are allowing everyone to see what you're doing with your github but when you make it private then you have to give access right to some people with whom you want to work with you know to share your git repository so that is the structure this is the architecture that i have broken down uh, just to create an understanding of the paradigms of operating in the git environment so my friend not that bar that red bar there <laughs> That red bar is telling you that without Git repository, Git, because Git program works only at the level of repository. Although you can configure some identification using uh, some Git commands outside the repository. For example, you can configure your name, your email address, and uh, maybe uh, the default branch from outside the repository and then when you go to when you create the repository those details now will become like the default details for running the system so that is the only exception otherwise you will not be able to run any git command outside git repository so take note of that now git repository is a directory or folder containing program for tracking changes or events and those and that program is the git program itself so this is the architecture i came up with i like referring back to it over and over again so that we don't lose that mental picture about the gate as you can see that is the local machine with the data storage just a folder that is just the folder we have in our system now having a folder without gate does not allow us to control our version but we can save as many data as possible in the folder and we can create as many folders as possible according to the files that we want to, to control our version but that is tedious you know is it's not an easy and smooth thing that we want to experience so in that situation, if you want to share our files, our documents, what we do, or have the backup copy of our file outside our machine, then you can go to the internet and grab the program. Once again, having a program alone does not guarantee that you will be able to control your version until you create a Git repository. A Git repository, as I said, is, is the folder that has been initialized with the Git program. That is the Git repository. So once the folder has been initialized with the Git program, my friend, you can now be able to run Git operations or operators or the functions 
to control the version, to do a lot of things and manipulate our files. Git will now track all the files, all the activities that we do on the files inside the folder that contains the Git. At the same time, we may want to keep the copy of our Git repository and maybe share what we have done with others. My friend, we can push our Git repository to the GitHub repository. But again, we must create a GitHub repository because GitHub repository cannot come by default. We need to have a GitHub account and then create a GitHub repository and then push our local repository to the GitHub account. 